My name is Pablo Obando and I have a farm in Suffolk, Virginia and the name of the farm is Pueblo's Farm. Well, I was active duty and um, and then uh, at the back of my house, we well, my wife at the beginning, she started complaining that uh, the tomatoes and peppers, you know, they didn't taste tomato and peppers because they don't have the flavor. So what we did is we started growing peppers on the back of the house and that's when I started like getting in interested while I was on active duty. And then on 2011, that's when I went to the FSA in Suffolk and asked a question to Melanie and she's the one that um, uh, told me that she was going to get uh, Cliff Slade because he's the one that helped in that area and that's how I got in contact with Mr. Slade. At the beginning, you know, I started working with uh, Cliff Slade and then uh, he helped me for the first year and then the second year he helped me too and the third one that's when you know he just pretty much let me go and, and I start you know walking on my own. Uh, right now I'm going on my pretty much uh, sixth year now. I see a big potential especially in my area that we're actually growing I think we're becoming well we are the second largest population in the state. You know the good thing about tomatoes is just the tomatoes doesn't have a one ethnicity it's everybody loves tomatoes like every you know because in, in in Hampton Roads we're a very diverse community the the program that VSU has they provide me at the beginning was with well they teach me how to prepare the land they teach me how to do the irrigation system and also the the plastic mulch layer and then um, that, that was at the beginning. They they're the ones that provide with all the material. When I met uh, Mr. Uh, Cliff Slade, you know, he's the one that talked to me about the program, and and how you know the the program was going to help me with the irrigation system and the plastic layer, and also they came out and teach me how to make the uh, beds, and um, and I think uh, I I think you know it's, it. I know that money is not for everybody, but I think it, um, they came on, on, on the right time for me. Um, you know, the vegetables that I, I do a lot is um, jalapenos, I do a little bit of bell peppers, and uh, the biggest one is the Roma tomatoes. The only reason I choose the Roma tomato is because they last longer and uh, and you don't have to refrigerate it right away and also you can actually if you pick it like when they're pink they can last up to 15 days and then you can have it ready to the market because they start maturing slowly and um, the market that I have is more uh, restaurants and uh, grocery store in my area and I deliver a lot to the like Mexican restaurants and Asian uh, markets you know when it comes to to the tomatoes uh, I you know I learned that I don't have um, you know I'm not worried about the competition out there um, let me just give you a good example a couple years ago I was selling to a grocery store in Woodbridge Virginia and you know everything was fine we set a price we said um, you know it was 300 I mean 300 boxes a week that I was gonna sell it um, you know, you know, during the season, I received a phone call from the general manager saying that, um, you know, the buyer that I, I buy, you know, um, he's willing to drop a dollar off. And then uh, my response was, you know, um, at this moment, I don't know what to answer you, uh, but let me think about it over the weekend. And then if I decided to drop it, that dollar off, I give you a call. But in my mind, immediately I start thinking. You know, I'm over here in Suffolk. It takes me three hours to drive to Woodbridge just to uh, deliver my uh, produce. How about looking for someone here? And I went to an Asian restaurant. I mean, Asian uh, market in Virginia Beach, and I was selling. I was selling there at two dollars extra than what I was selling over there. And um, and those are the challenge. And like, the good thing about Virginia is that. Um, 
especially you know where I live you know I have the second largest uh, community in the state and then the number one community is in Northern Virginia so I have the two options so if I can't sell it everything in, in uh, Hampton Roads I can always take it everything up north plus I have a lot of family up there and um, and they can talk to the people up there too my challenges I think um, um, my biggest uh, challenge was uh, the marketing because at the beginning um, I didn't have no clue when it comes to the prices of your product um, you know and plus um, you know we live in a in a, in a, in a world that's where we're very competitive when it comes to other products you know they might be similar but it's the prices the biggest challenge when you selling your product and uh, I just learned um, you know how to deal with it and how to you know be ahead of, um, of, of my competition too Um, I think uh, uh, my advice, uh, you know, whoever wants to, um, you know, start farming, at the beginning it's a lot of challenge, but I think if you start working with a, a, a farmer that already doing, you know, whatever crop you are interested in, um, I think you're going to learn a lot. And uh, one thing I... I notice, especially in, in the state, is that a lot of farmers are willing to teach you a lot of stuff. You know, they're not like, oh, uh, I don't want to teach you because at the beginning I thought they might see you as a competition, but over you know five years I learned that that you know uh, uh, other farmers they don't see you as a competition because you know um, I think because of how the market works, uh, also how the state's big in population now, that pretty much you know. There's so much that you can grow, and there's so much that you can sell, too. I think, um, uh, based on my experience, um, you know, you have to ask question and uh, and ask for help, because uh, like me, I didn't have no idea, you know, where to go until I went to the FSA office, and that's how you know the, you know, well, Miss uh, Melanie, she she, you know, she directed me to. Mr. Slade, I think, uh, you know, you have to go and, and seek, you know, any agency, especially as federal or state. Well, this is just an advice that I, I um, you know, I received from another farmer is that there's a lot of farmers in, in the state, they, have, they already have the equipment, so he just told me to, um, not to buy it because, you know, I don't want to be in, in debt. And then, but at the same time, you know, when you're trying to reach those farmers that has the equipment, uh, sometimes, you know, since you're new to them and they don't really have that trust, it is it becomes a challenge. So for the past uh, four years, you know, I relied more on the equipment that Mr. Uh, Clipsley has at his farm.